A constitutional convention is a dangerous idea. It would only be appropriate to consider after the American people and their elected officials have become widely and fully educated about the Constitution, having a solid understanding about its original intent and the principles of liberty that undergird it. Even then, a constitutional convention would not even be needed or desired, as those elected to all levels of office would be strictly abiding by it, thereby negating many of the problems cited in favor of wanting a convention. Unless there is widespread understanding and appreciation of the Constitution, such a convention would likely be a free-for-all, or as James Madison put it, it would be courted by the most violent partisans on both sides. The delegates would be easily swept by the emotion and fervor of the day. Special interests would dominate the discourse of the convention. Likewise, Barry Goldwater warned, if we hold a constitutional convention, every group in the country majority, minority, middle of the road, left, right, up, down, is going to get its two bits in, and we're going to wind up with a constitution that will be so far different from the one we have lived under for 200 years. In our present day and age of widespread lack of knowledge about the Constitution, an Article V convention would be chaotic and a disaster for liberty. As such, Senator Goldwater warned, I doubt that the Republic could continue. Learn more about Article 5 and the amendment process by visiting jbs.org.